Hey, what's up, gang? Uh, John Galfano here. And look, I want to show you guys something that I picked up on Monday. Um, I went through some Capture One training. Um, they traveled the country, and they were in Seattle, and I sat in on their all-day Capture One Pro 8 training. Um, I'm using an older version of Capture One, and I think I'm going to upgrade to 8. It's going to cost, I think, 100 bucks, 99 bucks to do it. Um, but I think I'm going to do it, but I'm playing with my older version based on this solid nugget that I picked up yesterday that I want to share with you guys about color. Peter talked about it yesterday in, on the Spreecast about color consistency and getting everybody in your portfolio to match color tone, even though people are different color, getting a consistent color tone consistency throughout your portfolio is really difficult. And it's something that I'm currently working on. Um, I think what I want to do is bring in my whole por my whole portfolio into Capture One and play around with what I'm about to show you to try to get a, a consistent look. Anyway, I want to cruise through this. So in Capture One, <clears throat> you have all of these features. I'm not going to talk about all that. I'm just going to go right to it. So we got color, and you have color balance. And I'm going to take this shot. I think this guy, um, besides the pier, I had him take out his little lip ring. Um, he He's just not quite right. There's some green, yellow, red happening. I think what I need to do first, I don't think I got this dialed in when I was at the studio. Yeah, he needs to come down to about 5K. That's fine. <clears throat> oh, before I do that, hang on. I'm going to make a new variant. Right click new variant okay so now i'm going to work on just this variant gotcha all right so let me do that again my apologies i'm going to back up i'm going to pull him down to about 5k that's about right i think yeah whatever i'm going to go fast all right <clears throat> so down here you have in in your color editor this is where i want you to work you have basic advanced and skin tone we're going to play around in skin tone I'm going to grab the picker, and I'm, I'm going to work on the red. I want to try to pull some of the redness out. I want to go, I don't know, right here-ish. Some darker reds, maybe. Right around here. Anyway, you can play with all of this stuff. So what I want to do now is I just want to view the selected color range. I want to tighten that up a little bit. Capture One Pro 8 that they were demoing has a little more latitude over here. You can squeeze it down a little bit better. So I want to view just the selected color range, and I want to pull the smoothness all the way down. So it's really going to tighten up what I'm seeing. So really all I'm seeing are colors within this range. I know there's probably ways you can do this in Photoshop, whatever. Um, I'm just going to show you this. So, okay, after I've got what I like, right? Okay, so yeah, this is about the color range that I want to play with. I want to uncheck this. Because if you don't uncheck this, you're not going to see what you're doing on a global scale and how it blends. So uncheck that. And I want to lighten up those areas of dark red. Let's just go all the way. Uh, I want to crank the uniformity up. I don't really remember what this does. I might have to send an email to them. But I think I like it up here. Um, saturation. I can pull some of the saturation out. I don't want to kill it. And then your hue rotation you're adding basically you know um greens and magentas over in this region i want to pull it i think to here ish so let me take a look at where i've gone so far he's still a little red he's looking a little orange in that one he's a little reddish in this one so you kind of get the idea of what you can do let me do this really quick. I still think he needs to be popped. That's looking a little better on my monitor. I don't know what this screen capture program is doing for color, but on my monitor that looks okay. I would probably go a little farther with this, but you get the idea of where we're starting and where we're ending up. So again, the idea of bringing in your entire portfolio and trying to do this across the board so you can really look at your say this is the image you want to match everything to trying to match everything up to this one image 
um, is what I'm going to try to do, or at least that's my goal. Um, so yeah, anyway, I hope that helps. Again, this is kind of what we're doing. It was a nugget that I picked up. I wanted to share it with you. I've only been playing with it for a little while. Um, I think I'm going to upgrade to 8 to give me a little more latitude in this area and hopefully be able to do a little bit better. So anyway, I hope that was helpful. Talk to you guys later. See ya.